Hello, 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 the Kupubo Connect family. Welcome back to another video. We are going to be doing what we call a transfer roundup special. This is a special, special announcement. So, we're going to, this is a Manchester United special. So, if you are not a United fan, you must think about because, you know, imagine a Liverpool fan talking about United. Anyway, we're not even going to go in with that far about the craziness that I would say when it comes to United. I'm just going to talk about the breaking news that has been revealed now. David Dagea has come and actually said himself he said i i'm gonna read what he just said so we are talking about david again if you don't know that's the special about i just wanted to send this farewell message to all the manchester united supporters that's why i saw it is from twitter i don't know where you've seen it yes so many socials right i saw it from twitter and i'm just gonna read what the player has just said i would like to express my un unwaving gratitude and appreciation for the love for 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 the love from the last 12 years we have achieved a lot since my since my dear since my dear sir alex ferguson brought me to this club i took incredible pride every time i put on the i put on the shirt to lead the team to represent this institute the biggest club in the world was an honor and a bestow upon a few lucky footballers okay it's been an unforgettable and successful period since i came here i didn't think we were, i didn't think from leaving madrid as a young boy we would achieve what we did together now it's the right time to undertake a new challenge to push myself against again in new surroundings manchester united will always be in my heart manchester is manchester has shaped me and we will never forget uh, and and we will never leave me we have seen it all he has put a picture of him winning the premier league of course that was still the backless premier league um alongside the likes of um, yeah there were some players behind him i can't see the day he signed for manchester united with Sir alex ferguson and also there's a picture of him and his family celebrating 540 i don't know was it saves or games he had played i'm not really sure then it shows him celebrating under the rain i think this was the game against tottenham Hotspurs. one of the best games i'll never forget in terms of Dag david daguerre as a goalkeeper what he, what he managed to do so it has been confirmed the people david the guy has officially left manchester united the the news is already out there if you haven't seen it just go on your social you will find something that will tell you what has happened with david again it looks like manchester united and eric tenag decided to what is the best way to use mistreat a hero i think that's the best way i can use mistreat a hero because to be honest you can't give a player a contract after he signs the contract you don't sign i don't get what that even mean i don't get what that even mean i've i've been there i've i've seen so much especially for a player who has been with you in the club for 12 full years he has been one of the reasons why you have won some of the titles you won under Jose Mourinho. It was that bus of a defense plus David Daguerre as the last man in the, at the, the 18 area stopping the ghosts from going in. But now as we stand here, it looks like Eric Tenag doesn't really care. And I heard this from other Manchester United fans that I watched. They were saying that it's not time to be sentimental about what this guy has done for us where he has come with us i get i get all that you can't be sentimental it's not even important but he has done so much for you guys i just feel like oh just because he has been there you have to give him that respect well what do i know i'm just a liverpool fan and if we are all known for something as liverpool fans is our emotion we stick to our players bobby femino leaving even though we knew that it was time most of us even up to now we are still crying that he left we know the importance of holding this player and we don't throw away if a player has surpassed the 12 years in your club even seven years 
it has to at least you owe him that much that it has to be his decision to walk away i feel like you owe him that much for him to make a decision to walk away most of the players who have achieved so much with liverpool and they've been the most important players in our team we allowed them to walk when they felt like it was time we did that with the Coutinho, we did it with Firmino and so many players are gonna go to Muna as well one of the people I don't know about Muna I'm not really sure but I believe you understand what I mean David De Gea has been so important to Manchester United and the way he just left the club even I myself I'm still shocked that that has even happened but that's where we are United no longer need him Eric Tenag feels like it's not really part of his plans and he has decided that he walks away. I don't know, how are you feeling as a United fan? Are you happy that he's gone? Or oh, you are still in a confused world? You really don't know how you are feeling, what you really want to say. You don't, you can't even get control of your emotions over this. How are you feeling? At least you keep him as a backup, not to make him walk away. They did that. So he's saying that he's going to be looking for other new challenges. Now I want you to see the difference. David De Gea is not good with his feet. Everyone knows that. It's not a secret. But one thing you have to understand. As much as Onana is like a midfielder when it comes to control the ball with his feet. He makes a lot of mistakes when it comes to saving balls. He's like the Edison. The question is this. Are you going to have an, a Manchester type of a team that always puts people under pressure, always attacking, 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 so that you don't have to try to defend with your life? Because when we have seen it countless times with Edison, he has always fallen short. And I'm telling you, Onana will fall short. But you've just let one of the best shot stoppers I've ever seen in the world of football go in David Aguirre. I don't know. Can't wait to see what happens. I was disturbed by somebody who made an entire two-hour video to show the mistakes he has made in 12 years. He has been in this club for 12 years. I don't know. I'm just a Liverpool fan. What do I know? But anyway, it's been confirmed. That is now making sense because... The time it has been confirmed with the new bid that United have made for Anana, maybe Inter have already accepted it. And they are working because they are also working on replacing the goalkeeper with another keeper. Happy Onana days, Manchester United fans. In fact, I even had Mal Gobridge going like, Onana, oh, what's my name? No, we should we say him? Onana, oh, it's your keeper. So Onana days are coming. I can't wait. You're going to miss David Dagia. I'm sure about that. I'm pretty, pretty sure about that. You're going to have a midfield of a keeper who could play, who, who's like Trent Alexander-Arnold with the ball. But you're going to miss those hands. You're going to miss those hands. I'm out. Click the like button if you enjoy. I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section, Manchester United fans. I don't, maybe I don't know what I'm saying as a Liverpool fan. Come, come for me. Tell me that. But yeah, here we are. I'm out. Click the like button. Subscribe to the Connect. Goodbye, Mr. David Dagger. Goodbye. You have been a legend.